downtown Belize City and I have with me my sisters Christy and Deanne and we're going to be doing a city tour today the weather is not favorable we're experiencing a little cool front this weekend so I'm wearing warm kind of warm clothes because there's a chill in the breeze and so um, yeah we hope that you're going to experience downtown Belize City, Belizean style. But this is going to be a bit different because we're going to showcase um, landmarks. Yeah, oh my gosh. We're going to showcase um, historical sites and landmarks in Belize. I got here my map as if I am a tourist, you know. So yeah, we're going to start. Hope you enjoy. So we're at the historical swing bridge of Belize. This bridge was actually made in England in 1922, but it was installed in Belize in 1923. And this bridge is swung manually by four men in order for boats to pass. It used to be swung twice a day, but now we only swing the bridge if a hurricane is coming so the boats can leave. So yeah. John the Baptist and this was built in 1812 by slaves and consecrated in 1826. The bricks used to build this cathedral they were actually used as on the ballast of ships back in the days. Oh my goodness the weather is not favorable today and we had some very nice sunny days in the week but when you're a tourist you tour in any weather right Government House of Belize, also known as the House of Culture. Oops! And according to the map, where is it? Um, okay, yes, this is the House of Culture, formerly known as the Government House. In 1814, this colonial structure behind us was built as the Government House for the newly appointed superintendent of British Honduras, Colonel George Arthur. And all those other fancy governors and stuff in British Honduras days, they used to come and live right here.
according to our map, that building back there is the Supreme Court of Belize. And it said it was erected in 1818, followed by numerous reconstructions. Its first sitting was held June 26, 1820. What a historic building. Shit. You too shot, Keisha. <laughs> no, you you don't know it like. According to our map, this is Baron Bliss Lighthouse and Gravesite. It says the lighthouse was first built in 1885 to assist mariners returning to the city as a fulfillment to the will of one of Belize's greatest benefactors, Baron Bliss. He was embalmed and buried near the sea and the lighthouse. And so, Baron Bliss, we know that he never stepped short on Belize's ground, but he loves sailing in our waters so much that he donated a lot of money to Belize. His name was, get ready for it, Baron Henry Edward Ernest Victor Bliss. <laughs> and we remember him every year on the 9th of March, which was the day that he died. A 
a boat a boat is going It was constructed in 1857 and this former prison was the first established in the colony of British Honduras. It now houses numerous artifacts. So this is now our historic museum of Belize. Digi Park, we're out here trying to get some food, so let's see what we're going to find. Okay, so we're gonna get some pupusa. So we just got pupusa, and now we're going to get um, half moon pizza. Pizza because Krista doesn't want to eat pupusa like that. Hi, good night. So we got our bacon and shrimp nachos and half moon, half moon pizza. And then we have pupusas in here. So we're finished with our tour today. Um, you just saw that we got some delicious food that we're gonna eat. Remember, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Also, subscribe to the channel and follow us on YouTube at Explore with K. Until next Tuesday, bye.